Greetings RC fans, Sharky here and welcome back to Sharky's Garage. We're back out here at Sutton. This time I got the ravine out, so you probably saw a video uh, the other week of me with Braun out here. So the ravine's a bit different in the fact it's a com competition style crawler. This one is also only, or when I bought it, it was £99 as opposed to Braun was over £200 and that's before I put the mods on it. The only mods that have been done to this is some weights that we've put onto the front here to give us a bit more climbing weight on the front and we've got the easy pins for so that we don't lose our uh, pins at the sides. So we're going to take this out and take it over the track here see how it does. Um, this does have four wheel steer it is also servo on axle it is also motor on axle so it runs considerably differently to Braun does. The wheels are also bead locks, as opposed to Braun's not. So this is a more out and out crawler, as opposed to the um, nature of Braun, which is that he's a trail truck. So let's see, and we'll go in this way. Now, let's see how he does on this. No problem. That was something that uh, now coming this way, Braun tipped over, but you see that the ravine doesn't. So yeah, because all the weight is really low down on this it being a competition style crawler it uh, means it handles dramatically differently Oop, sliding over the other side I need to move around so I can actually see what I'm doing and I stopped it short of the water Let me see how the trail brake works on this. See nicely. Let's say this is an FTX ravine, uh, 100 pounds, comes with a two cell lithium ion battery, will take uh, lipos. Um, I think this is the best bang for buck starter crawler for anybody. Um, you know, this thing is as competitive as they come. If you check on the channel, there's a video of me taking this up side by side against um, my brother Phil, uh, Tom Lee RC. He spent a thousand pound on his uh, Capra build, the Golden Goat. And this pretty much handled it side by side. And once I get some bit better tires for it, it would have held its own totally against him. It was just literally, the Golden Goat had better tires and better grip. So anyway, run through a bit of water there. The beauty with this thing is, as I say, I'm less worried about this one Oop. as he flips it on his roof. Yeah, I'm less worried about this one, given the fact that, you know, it's not £200 plus the mods I did to the other one. So I don't mind. Um, Now I also, um, you can see here, lined the underside of the body because it doesn't have any under body trims. BRCC stickers on both here and Braun because they've both been out there. Awesome place. Support your local RC clubs guys, particularly at this time with Covid etc. Um, keep them running. I mean the facilities at the BRCC are awesome. Yeah, I can't do backflips with this thing. Right, let's work out the best way to get down.
So yeah, this thing is an awesome capable crawler and I can do things with this I can't do with brawn. Possibly because I lack the confidence to do it with brawn. But also because most of the uh, links and all of that sort of thing on this thing are plastic, it's so much lighter. Which means you don't have so many issues with it doing things like that. It doesn't flip and tip as easily. Look at that. Now that is almost sheer. Let's see if we can get it up there. That is almost sheer. There we go. So just looking, there's the tree. And you can see there, let's see if I can get this round and do this with holding the position. Not that time, just need a little bit of run up. Done it once, you've seen me do it. What a surprise. As soon as you go to do it again, as Lenny Hogson will tell you, he took this up the impossible hill at the BERCC. Once he tried to do it again, he couldn't get it up there. There you go. So that was almost sheer. I don't need to turn four wheel steer on on this today or rear wheel steel because we're not on a tight technical obstacle course. But uh, want to show you how capable these things are and also have a bit of fun at a new location. Um, I really like this place. Here's the other one we took Brawn up. Now onto the tarmac. And down on the trail break. Yeah, you see the axle flex there. That's one of the the, uh, the beauties with this thing, is it has an awesome axle flex. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. Yeah, so all four wheels are still in contact there. Yeah, I love this ravine and it literally takes everything I throw at it and it's uh, splash poof so you know again less of my worries about writing off my cars and stuff like that so again sorry about the hook There we go, he got himself out of it. Yeah, I need a name for this. So, um, we've, look at that. That was cool. I'll come around and do another side hill run. The back axle is just slightly dragging. So this is more of a technical crawler. Is there a little jump there? So. Um, Lots of fun at a place like this, but 
on more technical tracks still up to anything that's thrown at it the only issue with these is that the um, tires are not great on wet wood um, I've taken the foams out of these but um, and that's how it helped but uh, I do intend to get some other beadlocks for this I also want to get another body so if anybody's got any suggestions on what I can get body wise for this whoop nearly did it there, we went too hard at it right we'll take it out on the road and then I'll show you the steering thing out here right so the minute it is in uh, front wheel only steering mode so put it on full lock and that's your turning radius okay stop it press the button once and we now have onto four wheel steer which gives us a very 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 tight Didn't get that on the screen. Turning radius. This has four modes on the steering. So I press it again. Mode three is crab. Is again interesting and if you're technically crawling you know and the final mode is rear wheel steer which um, seems to have a slightly tighter turning angle than front wheel only uh, but obviously not as much as when we've got four wheel steer on and then press it again we're back to the front wheel steering mode now the other thing as well with this you have got steering trim for the front, you have steering trim for the rear, uh, and you've got throttle trim. Um, so, <laughs> that's it. That's it for the ravine today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, stick the notification bell, do that usual stuff. Um, give me some name suggestions. What do you think I should call this thing? I've been looking for a name for it for a while. And um, also, any suggestions on what body I should put on top of this? Anyway, catch you next time.